Hey guys, it's CarGuy11. I have an exciting new mod that showed up today for the C7 Corvette behind me. Let's go check it out. All right, and as you can see, I already opened a box and I ordered a Performance X-Pipe from AWE Tuning. And I will put the info in the description of the exact part number and what I ordered. But basically, I wanted to get a little more sound out of the stock C7 Z51 exhaust. And this is the off-road pipe, which eliminates the secondary cats. And it looks very well constructed, has the AWE symbol right there. I did actually already weigh it, it's 20 pounds. And the comes with the clamps and hardware and they add another one and a half pounds or so. And the diameter of this pipe is three inch on the header side and it stays three inch all the way down to the muffler side. It necks down to about two and three quarter inch to fit onto the stock mufflers. So today we're going to get it installed and I'm gonna show you the sound clips before and after, so stay tuned. All right guys, I decided to bring my car to a local shop to have it installed. They have a lift, they have all the tools, and it was just a lot easier than trying to crawl under the car to replace that X-pipe. So let's see how it's done. Okay, first thing to do after lifting the car is removing that center brace. And there are several small 13 millimeter bolts and two larger 18 millimeters. Four 15 millimeter size bolts are attaching the clamps on the header side, along with two 15 millimeter bolt size clamps for the exhaust side. Now the exhaust hanger is attached to the frame using 13 millimeter bolts, and you got this cool hanger puller tool to remove it from the X-pipe. Now the X-pipe slides off the muffler pipes, and you can use a rubber mallet to help tap that off. Now there are two donut gaskets that you can reuse if they're in good condition, but I bought new ones for mine as they were pretty rough, and here's the part number. On the muffler side, some high temperature silicone was used to ensure a good seal around that pipe. So on the muffler side, the X-pipe has to slide over the muffler pipe. And this is the only part that was not fitting exactly perfect. Uh, the ends had to be flared out a little bit uh, in order to uh, slide over that pipe. Now the bolts supplied for the header side in the kit are 17 millimeter now instead of 15 going back on. And install the provided 15 millimeter bolt size clamps on the muffler side. And then you're gonna slide on that hanger and reattach it to the frame using 13 millimeter bolts. Now you wanna lower the car down, start it up to check for leaks. Checking for leaks. I think we're good. Bolt the center cover support back on with the same 13 millimeter and 18 millimeter bolts and you're done. All right guys, so it's the day after the install and the install went excellent. Uh, the part fit very well, uh, good quality. Uh, the instructions, uh, you can download them. There's a little barcode here to download and I actually printed them out um, and very nice step-by-step -step colored photos. Uh, of course, the shop was very experienced, didn't really need the directions. But um, yeah, very happy with it. A uh, couple notes I, I showed you in the install, but um, other than that, uh, excellent part. So uh, if you want, again, the link below is uh, all the part number and info for the C7X pipe. And the stock X pipe ended up being about three pounds heavier. So little, little weight savings there. And of course, no check engine lights or anything with the new pipe, so all good there. But anyway, uh, now's the fun part. You get to hear the difference. And I drove it last night after it. I am very, very happy. 
Uh, it makes me fall in love with the car all over again. Um, it's it's not obnoxious, but it is louder. It is meaner. It just feels freer flowing and uh, a little bit of a power increase too. I could tell in throttle response, um, maybe not measurable, but definitely feels like it get get it gets up and goes uh, a little better now. And that that in combination with the Attack Blue air filter I installed early, earlier this summer opened up the uh, airways for the uh, LT1 here. So again, super <laughs> excited to have this mod finally. It's, it's I've been planning this for a long time, but um, finally got it on. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned now for the stock and AWE uh, clips before and after for various uh, cold starts. We're going to do this cold start right now. So all right, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.